Well, for the intro, I was going to scream good morning Vietnam, but I didn't want to scare you guys because it would have sounded horrible coming from my voice. Uh, but what we got today, I want to get a ton done. This is, I want to make this a really productive day on the farm because we have silage. And before I even get talking, I'm going to get going so I can talk while we're actually doing something instead of running around all over the place. So I'm headed to the 4440 right now. We're going to take off this baler. Well, first of all, we have a ton of bales to move. Uh, we got to get the cows fed before we start moving bales out. It's dude, the 4440 is going to get work today. We're going to put a lot of hours on this actually. So I'm going to detach the baler. Oh wait, I'm going to detach the baler right now. I was just switching over to it. Detach the baler. Baler's been perfect. Oh my gosh. Okay. I didn't know what that was, but I'm going to go hook up the bucket because there's some chaff that was, it was like stuck. There's some chaff that didn't get turned into silage. And so I got to clean this up, but first uh, we got to put the bucket on. And then to, where are we going to dump this? I got to go pick up a gravity wagon to dump it in the gravity wagon and then eventually transport somewhere else. So for now, this bale spike, I'm just going to set down right there. Hook onto this bucket, but the bucket is like faced a weird way. So we're going to have to kind of yank this out. But it is just going to be, I'll be talking a lot this video, but I'll also be doing a lot of work. I'm going to try to make this a really productive day. No, this is going to get messed up if I do that. I want to actually drag this out a little ways. Oh my gosh. Okay, let me try flipping it one more time. By the way, in the farm similar news, I don't know if you guys heard. Oh man, I had it. I don't know if you guys heard, but I looked on Typical Gamer's channel. I'm sure if you guys watch YouTube a lot, you know who Typical Gamer is. But he played Farm Sim the other day for the first time. And it was, oh shoot. Okay, so I'm just going to attach to this. I knew it was going to be weird. But anyways, Typical Gamer played Farm Simulator for the first time, which is crazy interesting to see. And if you guys complain about me, like, not knowing anything and stuff, go check out his channel, dude. Uh, nothing wrong with it, dude. He's never been on a farm. He even said at the beginning, he's never, he's only been on a couple farms in real life, knows nothing about farming. But, uh, but <laughs> if you want to, if you want to watch somebody who's never played farm sim before, it's kind of interesting just watching them. Uh, so I'm going to put this stuff in a gravity wagon. Now, first of all, let me shut off the 4440. I gotta take something out to the gravity wagon to pick them up because right now we're on the farm here. Gravity combine. Wait, what is this? Okay, the gators here. Gravity wagons are here. I don't. We could take. Okay, dude. I feel like it's gonna be a mess if we take the. Yeah, we're not gonna take the gator. I was gonna take the gator and pull it behind there. We could take. Uh, let's see where this. Okay, the eighty-one thirty actually isn't hooked up to anything, so I'm gonna take the eighty-one thirty out there. Fire up. I also did throw front duels on. You guys didn't see that la last episode, but I tossed front duels on the 8130 for compacting reasons. I used it a little bit, but I was just like, you know what? 9R is going to be a ton better for compacting. So we'll... Honestly, the 8130 is like... It's it's almost faster than a truck. Like, it gets the speed really quick with this power shift here. But uh, it only does 32 mile an hour. A truck can definitely go faster than 32 mile an hour. There we go. Hazards on. We'll hit the road. If you guys remember where the gravity wagons are, they are like way in the back here. So I was going to cut across the field, but it's faster to just jump on the road, rip down the road, and then uh, go up to the gravity wagon and then jump in the field from there. We I think we have a little bit of wheat in one of these gravity wagons. So I'll have to unload the wheat and then we can load up this chaff. And then I want to get the cows fed. We just got a ton to do today and I don't want to, I don't want to waste time. Okay. Here they are. Watch. Honestly, we could bail this up too. We don't, I don't know if we need bales. It'd be nice to just have extra bales always sitting around. But we have all this to bail too if I want to get bailing, which is kind of nice. I'm hooked up to those gravity wagons. What do we have wheat? We have wheat. We have a little bit of wheat in the first one. So I'll go dump the wheat in the bins and we'll just book it down this field. Uh, we're going to kind of cut across these bushes. I guess they're not even bushes, they're just weeds. This thing flies, dude. I got this in. I got this in road gear right now. This is probably too fast, dude. Look at this thing just flying 29 mile an hour. <laughs> Holy crap. Okay, I mean, if we want to be productive today, there we go. We're flying an 8130. I love this tractor, to be honest. Okay, we better slow her down, especially when we get closer to the farm. I should have, I just realized here, I should have went right and I should have cut across the field over there because we got to go up towards the bins. Uh, and I don't want to cut through the farm with these gravity wagons, so I'm just going to kind of cut across this field a little bit. Just right there. And then, oh, who was it? Somebody, I think it was Riley. No, Ryler. Ryler, during our live stream, had tilled this up, which it looks perfect. This field looks perfect right there. Okay. Uh, where do we unload at? We'll unload 
you know what, I gotta swing around this way. So we gotta pull all the way around the gra the bins just because our unloading is on the left side of the gravity wagons. So I can't pull up right there. I maybe should have made this a little wider when I was using the landscape tool, because right now, I <laughs> with these gravity wagons, this is the weirdest part right here. It's on a hillside and it looks totally unrealistic right here, but when I go up to the landscape tool, it doesn't allow me to use it. For some reason, this is like this hill, it's so close to these bins, it just says like, I don't know, I don't even know what it says, but it doesn't allow me to edit this or smooth this hill out. So it's it's honestly really weird right now. I can't, it's tough to do anything about it. I'm trying to think of if I could do anything to kind of smooth that. I don't think I could, to be honest. We have also the new update of Farming Simulator. I don't have it on here because some people said there was issues with it. So I was like, okay, I'm not going to mess with it. This works for now. But once I find it, once people find fixes to the issues and stuff, then I'll put it in here. But one thing is you actually, when you make grass with the landscape tool, it actually grows this time with the new patch or with the new update. So that'll be nice. I, I'll probably get it here soon. I just saw some people on Facebook were saying they were having issues with that. I was like, okay, I am not touching that thing until people confirm it's good. So that was just my point of view there. Just because this version works fine. I don't really need the grass too. Um, okay. The Brent gravity wagons. I only need one right now. And having two is just going to be... It's just going to be rough for me. Especially when we're pulling in those tight areas over there. So... One of them I'll drop. Yeah, the last one I'll unhook there. Perfect. Take the 8130 and pull through here. Also, this combine, I need to wash this thing. We're officially done with harvest. We literally harvested everything. I didn't expect to harvest everything, but we did. So I need to wash this up. Pretty much, it seems like all of my equipment just sits in the back here. Like, it just, I don't know. I just, it all piles up in the back and it never ends up in sheds. I need to work on that a little bit. Okay, so what I'll do is we'll pull right up here and I'll just back her in slowly. It's a little tough back and grab wagon ins. Uh, oh shoot. <laughs> this is going to be rough. One grab wagon isn't too bad. I should be able to do this. There we go. Oh no. <laughs> and hopefully this chaff actually goes in here. I'm not even sure if it'll go in the back of the gravity wagon, to be honest. Man, I've said to be honest so many times this video already, but I'm just gonna, man, I'm struggling. I <laughs> There we go. We're getting close. Okay, so there we go. I'll keep that there. We'll leave the 8130 running. Now, I don't know if the chaff really flows out of gravity wagons the best. It's going to be weird piling it up because, I don't know, it's, it's, the gravity wagon's really not meant to hold chaff. But for now, we're, this is the only thing I really have to use. If I had a dump, if I had a dump truck or something, that'd be neat. That'd be nice to have. But for now, we'll just use this. So I got to load all this chaff up. And then we got to start giving silage to the cows, probably. Start mixing some silage. Oh shoot, oh no. It might not go in there. No, it does, okay, it does, we're good. I just didn't get over it enough. I gotta clean that little mess up. The first thing I poured in was a little, we spilled horribly bad. There we go, so it's gonna be, I don't know how many loads, we can definitely fit it all in the gravity wagon. It's just gonna be a couple loads with the tractor, I think. <laughs> you see me just slam the loader down, dude. There we go. Let's keep her up. Back her up. From the view I have, it seems like I'm over the gravity wagon. But most of these times, I got to keep scooching up. Like, like there. Now we're, now we're over the gravity wagon a lot. I don't know if my my controller or my mouse sensitivity is like crazy high or something, but this controller with the, I, I have really high mouse sensitivity and so it's really easy to operate this controller. I'm not like, it's just, 
it's a smooth operation with this mouse right here. Like, I don't have to, like, swipe, like, a hundred times to move the loader up, you know? It's just a nice, smooth, gradually... It's, I don't know, something about it. It's smooth and it's fun to operate. You know what I'm really digging about these gravity wagons? Is the mud flaps. They look neat. I like them. I like the extreme, extremely long mud flaps. Like, even on a truck someday... I Even just trucks in general. I like seeing long mud flaps that are almost like, you know, dragging on the ground. It's just... I don't know, that's one of the things that... It looks cool, to be honest. I, it's just, yeah, I guess it's one of those things. What do you guys think of mud flaps? I like them like crazy long. Like even those gra the graduating mud flaps, they're they're close to touching. They're probably a couple inches off the ground, but they look neat. To be honest, if I had an auger, it may be a lot better just having an auger here blowing up into a gravity wagon <laughs> or a belt, just a belt of any sort instead of using loader. For now, this this works fine though. I was also considering. I was also considering getting a skid loader, and then I kind of thought about skid loaders in farm similar, you know, and how I've used them in the past and my history with skid loaders. In, in FS17, skid loaders were fantastic. In FS19, the skid loaders just don't operate that good. Like, I hate using skid loaders. Like, in FS17, I would love, like, if we were doing forest and we were knocking down a forest, I'd love to have a whole crew of 10 people with skid loaders, because the skid loaders ran fantastic. But in FS19, it's like, it's like giants made skid loaders and then they couldn't get it down, so they just gave up on on the skid loaders. And now the skid loaders are all sloppy, and they don't they don't run good. They're always like tipping back and forth like crazy. And maybe that's one thing Giants is trying to do is kind of add a little tip to it. But they definitely overdid it to where it's it's not even fun to use them because they they're like always tipping back and forth like crazy, and they they're slow. Like the 4440 is like moving this this chaff is a lot faster with the 4440. Did I not dump that out? Or maybe I just scooped it up there. But, uh, like, yeah, moving this chaff is just crazy. Skid loaders are usually a ton faster than tractors. Right now, tractors just a ton faster than skid loader. In FS19, the skid loaders are just horrible. That's the one thing I have to say about that. Maybe maybe somebody will make a mod that's uh, better than giant skid loader. I don't know. Maybe they'll actually be able to kind of fix it and make a more useful one. I know Preston. I don't know. Preston Prowl or something. He tried making a bobcat skid loader. It's just... I think he used basically the same uh, the same dynamics that Giants used, and it was an amazing skid loader. It's just it didn't operate that well. Just, just skid loaders in this game are just horrible. There's nothing, and, and I shouldn't be complaining because I can't make a mod to save my life. So uh, I'm just I'm just see, it, I'm just speaking from my history of using skid loaders in FS19. In real life, skid loaders are a lot quicker than tractors. Okay. I'm starting to realize I think I made a huge mistake and I think this might be silage actually. Now I don't know my animations when it shows in the loader. Like okay because for example I go over here. Now I was thinking for sure this is chaff. It didn't blanket it so it can't be silage. But when you go to uh, when you go over here to silage cutter the animations I don't know if that's chaff or if that's silage. So let's pop up in the blanket. Okay, that was chaff. Here's silage. Okay, makes sense. Can I close the blanket at all? Okay, so that was definitely, that was, this is definitely chaff. And that's silage over there. So I gotta clean this up yet, but this this silage cutter, it holds, it holds close to 1300 uh, chaff. So what I can do with that is I can just use it as a bucket instead because the bucket was only holding me uh, 900, I think. We get another 400 in this, which isn't bad. And this will help a lot faster. But I've already... We're almost full with this gravity wagon, guys. We've dumped a ton in here already. I didn't think we'd be full. It didn't seem like that much. But I still have a ton of work to do. I think I'm going to get this full. I'm going to clear out this side as much as possible. We may leave a little chaff. But then I need to get silage over to the cows. So I'll switch over to silage. And start giving them, them some silage. It almost looked like I picked up some uh, chaff there, didn't it? Or some silage? There we go. We're full. I'll close the cutter. I don't know if you have to close the cutter. As long as you have this tipped, I think you're fine. But I just close it anyways. Raise this up. Yeah, we are so close to filling this gravity wagon. It's going to be full real soon here. Yep, she's full actually. So this is completely full. So what I'll do is I'll dump the rest of this chaff just back in here for now. And then I'm going to take a load of silage. 
and start feeding it to the cows. Now I gotta figure out, I'm assuming this trough over here is where I'll dump the silage. How's their water doing? How's their water supply doing? Uh, they're decent on water. Also, I need to give them straw bales. So we'll run out and grab a couple of straw bales for them too. We now have most of the materials. I gotta get the mixer though. That's a big thing I gotta work on yet too. Here we go. The first batch of silage. We're full. I'll drop the cutter. There we go. Now the thing is with loaders is with tractor loaders. I didn't realize this compared to a skid loader. Like you can on tractor loader. It's sometimes tough to see the bucket and what angle you have the bucket at. Um, you can maybe kind of like reach around the edge and kind of look compared to a skid loader. The bucket's right in front of you. You can easily see, but with the loader on a tractor, you got this, I don't know. You got this big engine in front of you where it's sometimes tough to see. Okay. We're going to swing around here and then I think this is where I dump it. I tried tossing in what I thought was silage in there. It was chaff. I was just making sure it wasn't silage. So I just tossed it in there to see if it would take it, but it definitely didn't. And I'm going to dump this in here. This is going perfect. I'm not sure how much we need. We need a ton, dude. Okay. We actually need a lot. Oh my gosh. There's going to be a couple loads of that at least will be at least we have the silage bunker right here close by now is this manure or what is this does anybody know maybe it's nothing this might be nothing to be honest i wonder where manure goes i'm gonna pull around here we got a lot of loads to take out of here but it's dude look how many honestly look how much look that was a big dent we put in there thank god we had a ton of people on here for uh the chopping crew because Dude, I probably wouldn't have had much silage and we would have ran out of silage. Quick. Joke, cows. <laughs> Just barely squeezed in between them. Yeah, I'm going to need a ton of loads. Yeah, we're going to need a lot. Oh, that's weird. There must be a glitch here. Because it. Oh, wait. There we go. Now it's gone. But it was showing that there was silage in here. If you looked on the back, it was showing there was silage. Even though down here, it said there was none. It said zero. But I'm glad. I'm glad we're getting at least the food and nutri nutrients that these cows actually need. Instead of just giving them water. We're actually getting stuff done. There we go. So it's going to be a couple loads. I don't know if I'll give them all the silage possible. Because it'll be like 20 or 30 loads just to give them all the silage. As long as we give them some that they're they're good for a while. So this is going to be my fifth or sixth load of silage. And we haven't even put a dent in this. This can hold so much silage. I think what I need is I need a, just a big wheel loader or something to move. Because it. it's, dude, like that was five loads, 7,600 liters. What does this hold? Like 50,000 liters? But honestly, I think this holds close to 50,000 liters. And when you think about it, when we go over to this, this only says it has 50, like 55,000 liters of silage in here. I'm pretty sure. So this, yeah. Okay, watch when you walk out over here. So when I walk over here, it's 50, oh wait, no, that's 545,000. Okay, but still, <laughs> okay, that's a ton of silage. I thought that was 54,000. Uh, but I think it's good for now. I put five loads of silage in there. The cows are gonna be fine, dude. Five bucket loads put 7,000 liters in there. We haven't even put a dent in that thing. I'm so shocked. That's all we did to it. Uh, but we need, I know we need hay. For, we need hay. They're, they're fine on water. We need, or we need straw. We do need hay, which I don't have any hay on the ground right now at all. So for right now, they're not going to be getting any hay. So I'm going to switch out this bucket. Dude, the 4440, man. This, this is a chore tractor that's going to be used a ton. Here we go. Oh. Drop her off and then I'll hook on to this bale spike. There we go. And I have, oh shoot. I have, okay, so I have, okay, I'm gonna leave the 444 run for a sec because we gotta pull out this 8130. I don't know where I'm gonna put this chaff. You know what? We'll, we might just leave it in the gravity wagon and save it for next time. Save it for next chopping. Dump it in there once we clear this out and then eventually put a blanket over it. I don't know where else to put this right now. You know what? Maybe we could put it in the, uh, in the bins. I wonder if we could put this chaff in the bins. It'd be kind of unrealistic, but it might not be a bad idea if it works.
So I'm going to pull around here like we did last time. Swing wad, brothers. This is a crazy long video, too. It's, I took 30 minutes just loading chaff up. And then silage was another, like, 10 minutes. Oh. Okay, we will unload. Uh, okay, it's not going to give us the unload signal. Nah, we, it looks like we can't dump it here. <laughs> uh, for now, I'm just going to put the 8130 kind of in the front of the farm. We'll just put her up by the shed. Because i got to figure out a place to put this. I don't want to just leave in the crowd wagon for like a couple months, you know. There we go. 8130 is there. We'll run out to the fields with the 4440. Now, I was wanting a bale spike where I could load two bales at once. This one, you kind of can. You can kind of bring in two bales. I wish the spikes were a little wider, though. I'll try bringing in two bales because it'll be nice carrying two bales instead of one back here. But I I got this mod that had a it had a good bale spike. I just couldn't find it when I put it in game. So I'll have to get another one. So I'll just take these two closest bales right here. It looks like I don't know how many bales we have. Probably we don't, we probably only have like ten bales out there. Uh, but we have a lot more that I could bail up out there yet too that haven't been turned into bales. So, let's try to get two. This might be a little tough. I'm just going to go in here on the side. This does put a lot of pressure on on the spike, especially especially when these bales weigh a lot. Why can't I go into it? Huh. What the heck? Okay. For some reason can't take the spike into it. Don't tell me it's because these bales have been sitting out too long and they've molded. Okay, there we go. So it looks like I'm only going to be able to haul one bale at a time. So I'll take this. Dude, those bales look so realistic, don't they? Like, look at that. Look at the graphics shine off of it. Look at the wrapping on it, the netting on it. Man, those look, those look realistic. Or the sun, Did I say the graphics shining off of it? The sun shining off of it. And then, just so you guys know, I play on very high. So I play everything cranked out as high as possible uh, on this PC. So, you know, maybe this looks, but I'm also recording at the same time. So the recording doesn't come out uh, the best. It makes the quality go down a little bit. We need some rear weights on this tractor, it seems like. But here we go. I don't know where these bales go. I'm assuming it'll just go in the trough. It may go, there's a, there's a ring over there. It may go in that ring. Nope. Not right there. That'd be cool if it goes in this rain. I'm assuming it'll go in the rain. Over here. Hopefully it does. I can't think of another spot to put it. Cows are going there already. They're me oh wait, what rain does it go in though? I'm just gonna toss in this one for now. Please work. Yes, yes, nice. Okay, it actually worked. That's sweet. Perfect. So we need, it looks like one more bale of straw, which is definitely doable. So I'm going to open this gate here. Please open gate. Please open. Please don't just be part of the fence. Darn it. Okay. We got to go all the way around. Shoot. It doesn't open. Oh, that'd be cool if that opened actually. So I got to go all the way around quick. We'll pick up one more bale and then the rest we should honestly be bringing in. I don't think I'm going to have time to bring those in today though. It's just, dude, this is a 4440 day. That's what we should name it. The na day, the, name the day 4440 or something. Name the title of the video, 4440. Because we're putting a lot of use on her. <laughs> I'm always trying to dodge these cattle. Just walking around everywhere. I'll run out and grab that other bale quick. Okay, so check this out. Check how realistic this character is inside. I'll do third person for now. I might try this with first person. Check this out. I was just driving. I kind of noticed this. Holy slip right there. That was not a lag. Okay, watch this. I'm going to hit the brakes. Oh, wait. What? Oh, 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 my. Oh, that was that was cool. That was really cool. So I guess you can just set the bail down anywhere. Darn it. But what was happening? How did I screw that one up so badly? But the character, when you hit the brakes, the front of the tractor tips forward and the bail goes flying down. In the back of the, my guy, he'll literally like scooch forward in his seat and he'll go flying in his seat. It's kind of cool. I need some weight or something to lift up to make the tractor tip. I was doing it perfectly and then that time when I recorded it, it screwed up. But 
We are full on straw. We need more water. We need we need hay, grass, some TMR, and then these cows are 100% ready to go. Um, we got a lot to do yet, though. I got to clean up all this equipment. I think that's the next thing. To get this somewhat organized, because this right now I mean, we need to clean up more chaff too. Also, uh, 4440. Let's put it in here. This will be kind of interesting. Put the chore tractor in here. I know this is usually used for like bale storage. For now, I'm just going to put the 4440 under there. That'll be good. That way it's close to the cattle, at least. 9R. I need to clean off this tractor. Now, my power washer is, I think, over at the uh, the little shop we have in the open on our other field. The configuration shop, I guess. But I'd like to have one here. We may have one here. Because I want to put the 9R away for... I guess it's kind of... It's winter now, I'd say. And we do have a power washer here. Sweet. This thing needs washed after compacting, after running, uh, what were we running? I was running the wagon for the chopper. Oh yeah, the big base is cleaned up. Honestly, that cleaned up quick. Perfect. She's good. Now, I'm going to toss this tractor. I think I might toss her in here. As long as it'll fit. Um, here, I'm, I'm going to move this little Alice Chalmers. And we'll, put the, we'll put the 9R in the back of this shop. Because we don't really use the shop much, so I'm pretty much going to use it for cold storage. <laughs> Little Alice Chalmers. There she goes. We need to get out the 720 more. Okay, 9R, we're just going to pull her. Oh, shoot. We're not going to make it. There we go. Perfect. She's looking good. We got the triples on her. Honestly, I'll need the tri I'll need the triples on here for the spring, though. That's what's kind of nice. Is well, I don't know if we'll pull this cultivator. <laughs> We're pulling it with a 4955, and then I'm gonna eventually pull it with a 9R. You can definitely tell the 4955 was a little underpowered for that. Um, 8R can stay outside for now. Let's see. Oh, combine. We already got the combine cleaned up and put away. I think I'm gonna get the 4955 put away quick. Uh, I gotta figure out, well, the cultivator needs washed up. The cultivator can probably stay outside, though. Or it could, you know what, we'll probably just put it in this implement shed over here. Now, I said I was selling the 4955 just as an excuse to buy the 8130. But I think I'm going to keep the 4955 around on the farm. It's just we need these tractors, especially when I have these multiplayer streams where people come on and help out. We need all the tractors we can have. So it's nice having the 4955, and I think it's a, it's a, it's a keeper. Okay. A Salford Cultivator is most likely going to fit in here. As long as it'll fit. Oh, shoot. Hit the brakes. Hit the brakes. We got flying down there. We shouldn't need the bush hog soon. Remind me this bush hog is behind the Salford cultivator because I'll probably forget. I'll probably be like, where's my bush hog at? Right there. There we go. These 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 uh, stalls, they look tiny, but then you you actually pull equipment in there and they're humongous, dude. It's insane. Oh, we can attach the rhino. Oh, it's pretty cool. There we go. Selford's in there. 4955. I may just toss in the shed with a 9R. Or the shop, I should say. Because we don't use it as a shop. So it's fine tossing it in here. There we go. 4955's in there. We got to get the combine yet, too, in this 8130. I don't know what I'm going to do with this gravity wagon. For now, I'm going to drop the gravity wagon as long as it'll stay there. I'm going to clean up the 8130, put the 8130 in the shop. That's probably really dangerous having those gravity wagons on the hill like that. <laughs> Slope downhill. So this 8130, what I'm thinking for spring is this is definitely going to be a planter tractor. Uh, but I'm going to get a bigger planter because right now we have a tiny planter. Uh, we'll begin a bigger planter. 9R will be a cultivator tractor. 4955, maybe chisel tractor. 
I don't know what's gonna happen with that 4955. We'll put it on something though for the spring. Maybe even a sprayer tractor. Or you know what would be good? Is an hydrous tractor. Dude, these tractors look good in here. Huh. <laughs> this looks sweet looking in here. Uh, I don't have them organized the best because like we we have some gaps in here that I need to close in. Uh the 720. Oh, this takes a while to start, that's right. For now, 720 is going right there. Alice Chalmers. We'll just put back here. It looks like we can fit a couple more tractors back here yet. Perfect. Those are in. Uh, let me shut off these lights here. There we go. Those are off. Uh, so we got the 4440, which is going to stay kind of down by the cattle. Any more tractors? We have the... I guess we have the combine, which combine's not going to go in there. Combine can't fit in there. Combine is going to have to go in uh, this old, old shed over here. It's the only shed the combine can even fit in. So combine's going in there. That's the problem these days with farmers. They're having a tough time fitting some equipment in the sheds. Like even when I went down to Southern Iowa and we went hunting, uh, the farmer, I, I jumped in the combine with him and stuff. And he was like, he was like, yeah, he was like, when I went and looked at combines, all the combines were rusty and stuff. And I was like, why are they, why are they, why are they so rusty? I asked the dealer and he was like, I was like, why are they so rusty? He was like, well, a lot of the guys, they, they, the combines are so big, they can't fit them in the sheds anymore. It's like, oh my gosh, you're buying a half a million dollar combine and you know, either too big to fit in the shed. It's kind of tough, but uh, at least we have one shed that the combine will fit in. I mean, it's farm only like rain gets in it. It's fine. You can leave equipment outside, but for realism purposes, it's nice having a shed to put stuff in. So, this is going to be the end of the episode. We got a lot done. I cut out a lot of the stuff I was doing because it was just it was uh, tedious. I was just doing it over and over again. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like button. And hey, I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching, guys.